you know, pe- there's a lot of pressures on writers and was it going to make money and all that stuff. And I feel that, and I'm, I would love to hear, get your point of view on this, is, is yeah. writers, if you ask the, the question, is this going to make money, you're dead in the water. And ha- <laughs> you're, you're, I mean, you, you can't, I yeah. mean, unless you're being hired to write something for a studio mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. $100 million, yeah. that's a different ball game. And even then you shouldn't yeah. think, is it going to make money? You should, yeah. what is it going to be in service of the story? What can I do? To, you know, that's how that's how certain movies in the studio systems kind of sneak through, like like uh-huh. like the whole Batman trilogy that Nolan did. Yeah, yeah. You know, they all made a lot of money, but boy, did he sneak yeah. in a bunch of stuff that Absolutely. normally is not in a studio movie. Absolutely. So would would you yeah, agree yeah. with that? So yeah, I think I would agree with it 100%. And actually, one of the things in my book is that I'm hoping that writers can write stories that kind of really matter to them. And they don't have to think about like, oh, is this going to make money? Because, ah, look, okay, this is a really big aim, but I've got a feeling you may have similar aims, is that I feel that a lot of the stories, especially feature films that we're seeing nowadays, not all of them, but a lot of them are just like, you know, the next, let's make the next, um, look, I love the Marvel movies, but, you know, let's make the next Marvel movie, let's make the next thing. And people don't always kind of, they're scared of walking on a limb and telling something that matters to them. And these stories that we create are quite fragile. Mm-hmm. And and often these stories, the fragile stories, are the ones that I'm hoping that the book will help tell. Because we all have these stories that come to us sometimes. And they're like these little golden chickens that come and they're like, we've got to tell you. we've got to, And we've got to kind of make this little chicken grow. And it's this kind of fragile thing that we create. And then we kind of, you know, we're, we're afraid that... As soon as you start, like you said, as soon as you start thinking about money, it's, you know, is this going to make money? Is this going to, you're already in service of something else. You're not in service of what the Hamilton guy was in service of when he wanted to make Hamilton. That was something totally different. I don't think at any point he was like, is this going to make money? Because if he really thought that, he probably would have gone no and he would have stopped, right? (laughs) (laughs) Because it was so crazy. Right. But he he was in service of something else. And this is kind of what I'm hoping uh, the book will help is is people who are in service of these stories that matter to them mm-hmm. and that matter to the world. That's the other thing about the about the Hamilton stories was so timeless because he was resonating with his own truth in that moment. And bam, there it was. And it was so timeless. It was just kind of kind of kind of perfect. Yeah. So I, so it's a long kind of answer to your question. Mm-hmm. But um, I but I do think that um, that, yeah, it's it's not you can't ask, is it going to make money? It's just going to. It's going to kill you. You're done. It's, it's, there's something else. Yeah, you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> it, you, you put, I think you're putting too much pressure on the um, on the actual art. If you if, yes. if, you, if you cannot allow the art uh, to grow and be what it's going to be, um, yeah. to a certain extent, look, if someone gives me $200 million, I'm not going to just like, hey, let's figure it out. Let, no, 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 I'm not course. that. There's a, resp- no. there's a physical responsibility. But at yes, the end absolutely. of the day – if you are honest to the story, you are in service of the story and what you're trying to do, money comes regardless yep. of what you're trying to do. Yep. Uh, w- without question, I feel so many filmmakers and screenwriters put so much pressure on the art. Like, this is the script yeah. that's going to blow me up. This is the this is the movie <laughs> that's going to take get me that agent yep. that I've been wanting. No. You can't yeah. do that. And but but because no. I've been I, I talked to so many filmmakers and I see so many screenwriters and I and I and I see the guys who succeed and the girls who succeed mm-hmm. and none of them ask the question is this going to be making money they did it just because yeah. they did they wanted to do it and and that's where you need to and it's Absolutely. hard to be there it's hard to get there it really is oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No, it's really difficult I mean I yeah it's really really difficult and I think it's like you know it, like you said it's not like oh fragile oh, I'm an artist it's actually the, almost the opposite of that it's like it's like I'm working hard at these wells I'm digging in them all the time I'm making them available and here's my ideas and here's my script and it's great and I love it oh and here's another one you know and let's, let's do this one and it's kind of like constantly working at being freer and loosening yourself up so that these stories come and that you can kind of keep on doing them in a way mm-hmm. because yeah otherwise it's just you know it's this one script that you're holding on to for dear life and hoping it's for, ten, for 10 years <laughs> yeah yeah anytime i see i yeah. meet a screenwriter he's like how many scripts have you written he's like oh i've got this one and i'm like is that it and he's like yeah that's the one i'm like yeah yeah that's the yeah that's that's yeah. that's a rough that's yeah I, yeah you've got I, yeah. you're basically I've been there. telling I've been there. You, yeah so have i mean yeah i've had, I've had that yeah. one short film i've had that yeah. one script yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah. then you're telling me you only want one swing at the bat. When you yeah. go up to base, exactly. you've got exactly. one swing and that's it. Yeah. 
you yeah. got no other swings. I think, you know, <laughs> if there's one thing that, that I think your, your podcasts also communicate really clearly is it's not one swing at a bat. No ways, man. You got to stand up there. You got to hit that ball constantly. And then when, you, when you're when really exhausted and tired and you think you can't hit this ball anymore and you want to give up, but you still want to hit it. Then you know that you're a baseball player or a screenwriter. You know, if you exactly. say, if you know you if you know you still want to write the story. I mean, I've had you know I've written quite a lot of features and I've written a lot of television. And I keep thinking to myself, when is this going to end? You know, <laughs> but the but the stories keep coming, because, and, and yeah. I do want to keep telling them. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's a you wonderful know? and that's a wonderful place to be. Yeah. Oh!